Hey guys, this is Joelle from Scratch Farmstead and today we are going to be making a do-it-yourself, completely natural, healthy, baby-friendly sunscreen. So when we started having babies a little over six years ago, um, I all the labels of sunscreen always said not for use of babies um, under the age of one and it was like, well, what is in these sunscreens that I can't put it on my baby but it's suddenly okay to put on my two-year-old or something like that. And so it kind of led me into this deep dive of looking into sunscreens and looking into what's in them and what what we want to consider when we're putting these products on the skin of our children, of ourselves. And so that's when we began researching sunscreen. And so we quickly found that many of the ingredients in conventional commercial sunscreen products are really, yeah, these chemicals that you really don't want to be absorbing into our skin, into our blood, into our body. Um, and can actually have a lot of adverse effects. And it's funny, I mean, some of the research even points to skin cancer being more of a product of the sunscreen than of actually the sun exposure in itself. And I'm not gonna go into that, that could be another topic for another day or maybe a little bit more controversial. But regardless, there's a lot of evidence out there that the chemicals and the, the um, ingredients used in commercial sunscreens are not safe. They're not safe for babies and they're not really safe for anyone. And so we were on a mission to make to make our own sunscreen that was safe for everyone. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that today. It's a really basic sunscreen. I just use olive oil, beeswax, tallow, homemade tallow, and if you don't wanna use tallow, cocoa butter could be another option of something you could swap for that. Um, coconut oil, and then the the most important ingredient is your non-nano zinc oxide. And so that's kind of the typical thing that makes, that gives um, sunscreen that white sort of appearance. You know, you think of like the lifeguard with the two white stripes underneath his eyes. Um, but that non-nano zinc oxide is the thing that gives the sunscreen the whiteness. And so you want to make sure when you're buying the ingredients that you buy non-nano zinc oxide. So if you get nano zinc oxide, um, the, the particle size of the zinc oxide is um, small enough that it can actually get into your bloodstream and that is something you want to avoid. So you want to get non-nano so that the particles of the zinc oxide are bigger and cannot get into your bloodstream. And so that's why we specifically purchase non-nano. So below I will link all of the different products we use and what specific ones they are and where you can purchase them. But that is all you need. So olive oil, coconut oil, tallow, and then beeswax and zinc oxide. Um, and we, I'll also link below to our blog post that has the printable recipe so you can print this out. But all you're gonna do is you're gonna mix these ingredients into um, your jar, you're gonna heat them up, and then you're gonna pour them into your containers. Now I'm gonna go ahead today and pour them into these um, little containers. I believe these are two ounce containers. So I like these because I can just throw them in my purse if we're going to the pool or the beach or even just headed outside on a play date, I can just throw this in my purse and if a kid is looking like they're starting to get pink and need a little sunscreen protection, um, I have this, it's easy. You can also buy on Amazon and other places the little like silicone squeezy tubes and so you can actually put, put them in there and have your own squeezy tube sunscreen. But the thing about making your own homemade sunscreen is a little bit really goes a long way. So you don't need to, you don't need very much of this stuff to really, to have it spread pretty far. And so while you cannot measure the specific SPF exactly about what it is, like the ones you buy at the store that, you know, SPF 30, 45, 60, 100, whatever, um, the, all the ingredients that are in this are gonna have some FPF value. So I equate this generally, and this is just my rough guesstimate, to around an SPF 30-ish. But again, this is these are homemade natural ingredients. They are not tested. Um, so you're not gonna know that information for sure. But we have found in making homemade natural sunscreen for over six years that this works, it is effective. Um, and it, most of all, it keeps our skin safe. I don't have to worry about rubbing toxic chemicals all over my kids or all over myself. And so um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So you just need, um, it's a quarter cup of tallow and we're gonna put this in here. Again, it's not, you do not need to be super, super exact with this. I can also link a post on how you can make 
tallow so that it doesn't have that tallow smell. Um, that's the thing when I say that I like to make my products with tallow, everyone's like, doesn't it stink? But really, if you, um, if you do a nice water method for rendering tallow, it, it loses that smell. And so you don't get that smell with your tallow. Sorry, it's just, it's pretty hard. It's been in the refrigerator, so it's kind of hard to break up here. But that's why we're going to melt all of this. Um, and so, again, it does not need to be perfect on the measuring, but approximately a quarter cup of tallow is what you're looking for. So I'm going to call that good. And I love tallow in my skincare. Tallow is pretty much all we use for our skincare because it is... The, the fat soluble vitamins are awesome. It is so compatible with our skin. Um, and so it just, it rubs in super well without you leaving greasy and it has just these really antioxidant properties and it is just magical for your skin. So this is what we use for our lotions and our balms and our, yeah, everything is tallow based around here. Um, okay, and so then your next ingredient is gonna be a quarter cup of your coconut oil so let me get my measure so it's it's hot right now it's like 80 degrees in our house because we haven't turned our air conditioning on yet so that coconut oil is already nice and melted for me which makes it one step easier <laughs> i don't have to melt that but okay so we have a quarter cup of coconut oil a quarter cup of tallow and then we're going to add a third of a cup of olive oil. So I already pre-measured that. So we're going to add a third of a cup of olive oil. And then we're going to pour in our beeswax. So this is a quarter cup of beeswax. And then a half a cup of your non-nano zinc oxide. So you're going to pour in. So you just mix all your ingredients together and then you're going to fill a pot, you know, like to there with water. Then you're going to go ahead, put this in like a little water bath and you're going to um, just, you want all these ingredients to melt together. So we're going to go ahead and melt the ingredients together and that's it. That's all you need to do to make homemade skincare. It's do it yourself, it's safe, and actually this is a batch that I made a while ago and it's still, I mean, I, I made this one actually last year, but we were still using it and it, it works fine. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm gonna make some new stuff to replace this, but this batch from last year is still going strong. So this stuff lasts, it works, and most of all, it's safe and it's friendly, especially for your kids, you don't have to worry about it. So that's it, it's so easy, really, it's like, five ingredients to make all natural DIY sunscreen. It takes all of five or 10 minutes, um, super simple, and then you have a really safe, effective option uh, for nourishing your kids' skin, keeping them safe in the sun all summer long. Um, so if you're looking for more natural recipes, especially for skin skincare, another one of our favorites is our tallow-based magnesium lotion. So we put this on before bed every night. It helps us sleep great. It helps us get in that magnesium that's hard to find. So we'll link over to that next video and we'll see you in that one.